Joe from the DIY Golfer. Today I'll be showing you how to do a faded paint fill. This paint fill, uh, I'll post a picture of what it looks like, but essentially you're going to put a little ring around the outside of these cherry dots on the putter, and then you'll fill in the remainder of the dots with another color. So a general guideline on this, um, you're going to have to use clear um, Tamiya paints. If they're not clear, if they're opaque, this doesn't work very well. Also, you don't want to be doing this technique on any black or darker colored putter. So when you do like a black polymer finish, that makes it so that this kind of paint fill is not really, um, it doesn't really work on that. So the best way to prep a putter for this type of paint fill is to do just a bead blasted finish which you can do on a stainless steel putter like the Scotty Cameron. So the first step requires no acetone at all which is not like uh, most paint fill tutorials they'll start with acetone it seems like but I'm going to use um, a really fine needle for this one this is a size 20 and I'm going to just put a ring around the outside of these uh, circles and also I wanted to note uh, when you do this you want to have the darker color as the ring and the lighter color will be the main portion of the uh, paint fill so let's get started I'll just um, I think this would probably be a better angle you, you don't need much at all you really just what you're trying to do is just make as as fine of a it, like you don't want it to come very far inward into the circle all right there we go Alright, so I've got a circle here. Let's see if I can get it really close up. I don't know if that helps you see it, but it's not perfect. There's definitely some overflow that goes towards the middle of the circle, but tr truthfully, this is okay. It's, it's not going to look like this when you do your next. Alright, so I've let this paint fill dry for about five minutes now. Uh, you still want it to be a little bit wet when you put the second color in because then you can smooth out any of the imperfections. So I'll take my second color which is yellow. It's also a clear Tamiya color and make sure drop out one drop before you start to make sure that there's no air bubbles which there was in that one. Uh, sometimes when you first start dropping out of this uh, needle tip container there will be air bubbles in the paint you really don't want those so now just put a little bit of paint in there and start spreading it out once you've spread it out you can take a needle and kind of get all the imperfections that you see out of the you know the green the, the part where the green kind of overflowed into the middle The very last step when you're fading a paint fill is to wash with uh, a little acetone bath, if you will. Um, this has been dried for at least 24 hours. I think I left it a little bit longer. So the paint 
is really hard. You can touch it, it's not going to smear or anything. It feels like a, almost like a piece of glass. But there are slight imperfections in the, in the dots. There's a couple little just spots that I want to clean up. Now how you do that, and this is extremely imp important that you have the paint fill completely dry, otherwise this will smear and ruin your entire uh, paint fill. But what you'll do is you'll take this um, bottle of acetone and essentially just pour uh, a bunch of acetone in this, this area and soak the dots for literally just one second and then completely pour it all off. And when you do that, it basically makes a mirror finish and it, it makes it look really good in my opinion. So it's pretty simple. You'll just drop acetone in there and then pour it off. And what's going to happen is there will be a little bit of a um, little bit of overflow now. So you'll have to clean up around the dots with a Q-tip. Uh, in my paint fill 101 tutorial you, you'll see that I use the pointed q-tips and that's great for cleaning this kind of thing up.